So I'm on my drive, driving past another cell yard, another cow dead. Don't know how long this one's been here for, very bloated. All in the view of that horse who's had to sit there and watch this animal suffer and die. No one round. I reckon the bloody whole herd's been taken off to slaughter while this one's suffered on the floor. Look at this man, it's disgusting. I've seen this as I'm just driving past. This is just not it. Like, the stuff I'm seeing while driving out in the outback with animals is absolutely damn right disgusting. Sorry the buddy phone's shaking. I'm shaking. Seriously, like, look at this, right? This is, this is the main highway. That's the main highway to drive in and I just noticed this cow on the floor. I can't express to you how many cows I've driven past on this journey where they've died at the fence watching cars go past them and bloody heat stress needing water, whatever. Left there dead amongst their other bloody family members. I'm sick to death of seeing it. I'm fuming. The Amazon's on fire because of meat eaters. Animals are suffering because of meat eaters. Non-vegans have got a lot to answer for, I'm telling you. And yet, like, nothing, nothing wrong is going on. I mean, what did that cow ever do to any of you lot? Nothing. I bet his old herd have had to stand round it while it's died and then be shipped off to slaughter. I mean, quite frankly, I bet, I bet that bloody animal's had probably a better death than the bloody, his bloody family members who've been sent off to the bloody slaughterhouse, in all fairness. Look at this. Yeah, because look at that. Look at that, guys. Because farmers love their animals, right? And that horse has moved off as I've come here. That horse has just been stood there watching from the fence. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What? Where? Well, that'll be sleeping on our surfaces. Oh, yeah. Why would she have so many cuts on her legs like that? That's all gas in the belly. You usually see cut and toes. So normally, like you would have seen it, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I made the video. But when I went to that uh, sale yard in bloody South Australia, I found toes on the floor. Do you know it's really common that animals have their toes ripped off during transport? I witnessed cows, film cows in there with their feet bleeding. And of course, we found a toe when we were in there. Animals are bloody tortured from the, wet, the word go. Yet yeah, meat eaters are happy to lap up the lies of farmers love their animals. And I tell you what, if I see one more bloody sign telling me for rodeos, I'm about ready to crack the bloody shit, I tell you. Second, I'm bloody climbing out of here. Sick of it, I just want the main road to drive and pass. I thought, oh my god, there's a cow on the floor. I thought I'll go check, make sure they're okay, and make sure they need some water because clearly I haven't got anything in there for them. I'm sick of seeing death trucks. I feel like I'm on a drive of death. I can't express yet how many how many dead cows I've seen while driving. We don't get told how many cows die of heat stress in fields in Australia, yet there are no laws to stop them from bloody... From no laws, no animal welfare laws that says that they have to have shade. If you treated a horse like you did cows, you'd be done by the RSPCA. But instead, the RSPCA will give you their stamp on a dead body of their approval and say, hey, give us a bit of your money for their dead body. For all creatures great and small, my backside. Oh, I'm feeling so frustrated. I can't express how frustrated I'm feeling today. Woke up about the Amazon rainforest today. And I'm generally bloody so worried. I mean, reading people, re been on online watching this guy who's on the Amazon. Who's been helping the animals and working with the locals and all the rest of it to try and protect the forest. And he's like, well, for the first time, the people are now watching. They've already lost 91% of the Amazon rainforest due to meat, eggs and dairy. You know, Amazon is literally the lungs of our planet. 
and they've been babbing on about it. You go on my YouTube channel, you'll see over a year ago I made a video about how Brazil government opened up the uh, genocide on the last main on genocide on on the indigenous people there, and the last remaining bloody Amazon being bloody destroyed. And now they were going through their homes on quad bikes and murdering the indigenous people. For me, eggs and dairy that end up on your dinner plate. And now look at it, it's all set on fire. We're now going to see, we are, like, I was, I, I, I generally believe that I'd only see bits of climate change. I mean, we're already seeing it when we're talking about, it. we're already seeing it, but I wouldn't see the, the most major effects. Now, we are going to see the major effects. It's like now, it's, it's, it's now a bloody question of, his country's going to go underwater first, you know? Some of the poorest of the poor are going to be affected first and then they're coming after you. And we're not even bloody, we're not even safe. Because come on, look at the bloody floods in Queensland. Size of England. What next? A flood the size of Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria before someone goes, oh, maybe we might change a diet. Do you know what? Going vegan is probably the, 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 the is... Going vegan is the most effective way you can help counteract climate change. It's the biggest cause of climate change and it doesn't stop there. It should be the number one priority. And then after that goes all the other stuff. You know, walking instead of driving. Bloody recycling. But recycling shouldn't even be spoke about anymore. Reuse. Stop getting products that are a one use wonder and then throw in the bin. <sighs> it's, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm sick of seeing death and misery everywhere. And non-vegans are to blame. I'm sorry, but you are. You're not even listening anymore. You're just so self-absorbed about your own taste buds and your own self-gain that everybody else's lives no longer matter. Because that's what it looks like to me. Oh, God, this... Poor bloody all stuck in here on its own. Actually, should we give her an apple? There's no bloody food in there for him. No shade, no food. Just been past a sale yard where there's loads of cows in one pen. No shade in its Queensland. And their they're, they're infrastructures that are there, 365 days a year. So when it's 45, 50 degrees, they have no hope. They're stuck there sweating. But who cares? They're going to die. Anyway, I'm going to go give this horse a bloody apple or two. Because she probably hasn't been giving anything for God knows how long. She's just stood there looking at that dead animal in the bloody pen next to her. Poor soul. No wonder why animals are so scared of us. We've abused them from the word go. Anyway, that's me over and out. I'm sick of it. Anyway, over and out. Has anyone got any questions for a run off? Yeah, it's disgusting. I'm, I'm just, I can't express to you how, how sad I am. I'm disgusted. Anyway. Yeah, the RSPCA won't do nothing. All they want is money for their dead bodies. For all creatures great and small, right? My ass. Anyway, we've got four apples and we're going to go feed this horse. Anyway, see you later. Much love.